base camp, uh, the idea was pretty much second nature to us. Uh, we love the outdoors, love beer. So put together your two passions and uh, come up with, with a cohesive idea. And that's basically the building block that you need to have to, to start. Um, that way you can build all your ideas up from there. And that's what we did. Uh, Base camp is our idea of, of a place where you can come to to plan your next adventure. Uh, and a better way to do that than over a, a glass of wonderful beer. Basically every everything that we've built or put together has come through a long um, list of, or long process of ideas that evolve uh, to the final product. So we say, well, we want uh, to have you know, big wood tables so first, you know, how are we going to do that? We have to locate the wood. Um, for us, that was pretty easy. One of the guys, the um, guy you met, actually, Ross, uh, used to be a logger. His dad's a logger, so they had a contact. The guy um, out of Grants Pass area that had a, had a mill and happened to have a black walnut tree fall in his neighbor's yard, so he slabbed it up and uh, we got some slabs of really nice black walnut and that came together and how are we going to put it on a base? Well, uh, again, everything uh, is built around nature and, and this idea of, of bringing nature in or at least uh, incorporating that same theme with everything that we do. So brought some big ass boulders in uh, and drilled a bunch of holes in there. I welded the, the base and the top to mount the table to and voila, table. Um, a few of the other things, we have uh, all wild uh, native edible plants on the property. Um, one thing that we hope to do along with this is an educational piece. We're trying to keep everybody's minds active um, while they're here. Uh, we think that's a great experience. I think people uh, innately love to learn uh, and we love to teach and uh, explore those uh, new things with everybody who come in. Uh, well, we love to climb, love uh, outdoors, so you know every little aspect of that we incorporate in with, with our branding, really. Um, carabiners, climbing, it's just seemed natural for us. Um, so we slapped them on our tap handles and we hung our canoe with them. Uh, we have, a, a, like you said, a, a deal with our climbing gym that's only a couple blocks away. Uh, where it's really awesome. We get uh, some free memberships. We get to go climb when we want to. But uh, we also offer the climbers there a deal come into the brewery so we uh, attract more people and especially uh, the like-minded customers that we're hoping to target, mm -hmm. uh, get them in the doors. Um, then once they taste the beer, it's all over. Consistency with your uh, message or your uh, theme is extremely important and uh, we like to go outdoors so we want to bring our beer with us. We needed something that's light, durable, um, and and really uh, environmentally more friendly than uh, what's out there now. Uh, so it was a natural fit for our beer. It's better for the beer, uh, better for the customer, uh, better for the environment. Um, so really there was, was no downside to it. Um, you have to get a whole bunch of them at once. I guess that's kind of a downside. Holds capital for a little longer than I would like, but uh, it's worth it in the in the image and the usability of it. What a lot of it comes down to is authenticity. Um, we really hand built most of the stuff that's here. Um, yeah, sure. Such as this. My uh, wonderful mom and dad built these for us. Um, this was going to be their winter's firewood. But turned a sample tray. Um, chairs in our tap room, uh, we got used and immediately tore them apart, 
and rebuilt them. I recovered them, mm-hmm. wove uh, paracord around them, which is a, a really uh, kind of the ultimate outdoors cord. Uh, consistency is key in, in business, I, I think, mm-hmm. uh, at least in my experience. Uh, first things first, beer has to be consistent. Uh, Beer has to be the same beer every time somebody drinks it, and that's your uh, number one. Mm-hmm. But then the Im- the message that you're sending out has to be consistent every time, mm-hmm. uh, and it takes a lot of effort to do that. But uh, I like to say that uh, anything worth doing is usually going to be difficult and take a lot of effort, uh, but it, worth it in the end with uh, being able to be proud of what you've done. Uh, to build something. My dad always told me growing up, attitude is everything. Mm -hmm. And I think that that really comes through in building a business. Uh, It's a long time of a lot of push and effort. And uh, if you're not passionate about it, if you don't have the right attitude towards it, Mm -hmm. uh, you're you're going to give up, especially as um, you get what feels like attacked from all angles by uh, a lot of red tape, uh, government, um, city, and everywhere you turn, somebody's uh, asking for more paperwork or more fees. That's very difficult to stay positive through all that. But again, a con- constant, consistent push, uh, and that's where, that's where things get built.